nhé Lê Hình Nhanh Không có nhiều Hello Hello Hi Kathleen How are you? I'm okay Okay, um, are you done eating your dinner? No. Oh, so okay. So before we will start, we will have first a warm up, okay? Can you okay. touch your head? Your head. Yes. Touch your head. Can you touch your head? Yes. Okay, very good. How about your lips? Can you touch your lips? Mm. Lips. Oh, can you touch your lips? Touch your lips like this. Yes. Okay, touch. Okay, very good. Okay, Kanlin, you listen and watch this video first, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. <laughs> Okay, Kanlin. Our lesson for today is all about listening again. Okay. 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 So I will read the uh, I will read first the instruction. Okay. Listen okay. and draw lines. There is one example. Okay. Now, Kanlin, I will play an audio. You will listen carefully. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. So, uh, listen now. Do you have your notebook and pen? Yeah, this is my pen and this is my notebook. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, you have to answer me. Yes, this is my pen and this is my notebook. Okay, can you repeat? Yes. And this is my pen and this is my notebook. Very good. Okay, I will play it. I will play it now. Okay, listen. Part one. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look. There are a lot of people playing by the river. Do you know any of them? Yes. I can see my friend Mary. She's wearing a red t-shirt. Where is she? There. Look, she's climbing that tree. Be careful. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. That's Jill there. What is she doing? She's sitting on a rock. Oh, yes. I like her towel. Those are my favorite colors. Two. Who's that boy? Where? He's wearing a hat, and he's carrying some fish. That's Jim. Is that our lunch? Yes, it is. I can see Peter. I can't. Look, he's got curly blonde hair. What's he doing? He's taking a boat out of the water. Oh, yes. I can see him now. Four. Look at Sally. Where is she? She's standing in the water. Why is she shouting? The water's cold, I think. Five. Who's that boy by the river? Which one? He's wearing a yellow sweater, and he's washing his hands in the water. Oh, that's Fred. He's my best friend. Now listen to part one again. One. That's Jill there. What's she doing? She's sitting on a rock. Oh, yes. I like her towel. Those are my favorite colors. Two. Who's that boy? Where? He's wearing a hat, 
and he's carrying some fish. That's Jim. Is that our lunch? Yes, it is. Please. I can see Peter. I can't. Look, he's got curly blonde hair. What's he doing? He's taking a boat out of the water. Oh yes, I can see him now. Ooh. Look at Sally. Where is she? She's standing in the water. Why is she shouting? The water's cold, I think. Five. Who's that boy by the river? Which one? He's wearing a yellow sweater, and he's washing his hands in the water. Oh, that's Fred. He's my best friend. That is the end of part one. Okay, can lead now. Yes. So uh, listen and draw lines. There is one example. Okay. So okay. Where is uh, Jill and the girl sitting on the rock, wrapped in a towel? Um. This is uh, you. Okay. This is you. Okay. So this one, right? Yes. Okay, so I will put a, a line. Okay, this one, this is Jill, right? Yes. Okay, very good. How about where is Jim and the boy in a hat carrying a fish? This is Jim. He's, he, he, uh, he has a, he has a blue coat. Very good. How about Peter and the blonde boy taking a boat out of the water? Peter, uh, this is Peter and the blonde puppy. This is Peter. He has a green coat. Okay, very good. How about Sally and the girl standing in the water and shouting? This is Sally. This. What is the color of Sally's? Um, Sally has has a yellow coat. Very good. How about Fred and the boy in the yellow sweater, a sweater, washing his hands? Uh, this is this is free. He has a yellow coat. Okay, oh. very good. Okay, so can you read um number one? Number one, you and the girl sitting on the rock, wrapper in a tower. Okay, very Jill. good. Can you pronounce Jill? Jill. Wrapped. Wrap. Wrapped. Wrap. Wrapped. Okay, very good. Number two. Number two is Jim and the boy in a hat carrying fish. Okay, very good. Can you pronounce fish? Fish. 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 Very good. How about number three? Number three is a Peter and the balloon boy taking a boat out of the water. Again? Of Peter and the balloon boy taking a boat, boat out of the water. Very good. Can you pronounce Peter? Peter. Okay. Blunt. Blunt. Taking. Taking. Boat. Boat. Very good. How about number four? Number four is Sally and the girl standing in the water and shouting. 
Okay, very good. Can you pronounce water? Water. Shouting. Shouting. Can you read again number four, Kanlin? Okay, number four. Number four or number five? Number four. Can you read it again, number four? Okay, Sally and the girl standing in the water and shouting. Very good. How about number five? Number five, three, and the boy in the yellow sweater. 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 Okay. Washing hands. Okay, can you pronounce, can you pronounce sweater? Sweater. Again, sweater. Sweater. Washing. Washing. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's have another one. Okay, I, I, you will go, I, we will go into read this. You were number, uh, you were, uh, you will be the man, a woman, and I will be the boy, okay? Yes. I know, you will be the uh, boy, and I will be the woman, okay? Okay. Very good, okay, listen. Transcript. Hello, Trans this is, okay, I will read it first. Transcript. Hello, this is the Cambridge Movers. Practice less a listening test, test three. Part one, look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Okay. So okay. it's, I will be the uh, first. Look, there are a lot of people playing by the river. Do you know any of them? Yes, I can see my friend, Mary. She's wearing a red t-shirt. Very good. What will you do if you see a comma? Comma, yes. Okay, what will you do? You have to? Comma is stop in reading. Pause. You have to pause in reading. While a period, you have to stop in reading, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Where is she? There. Look, she's climbing the tree. Be careful. Very good. Can you pronounce climbing? Climbing. 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 Not being. Ming. Climbing. Climbing. Very good. That is silent B. So climbing. Climbing. Very good. Okay, part one. Okay, I will be the boy and you will be the woman. Okay, that's okay. chill there. What's she doing? She's sitting on a rock. Oh, yes. I like her tower. Those are my favorite colors. Very good. Can you pronounce those? Those. Very good. Again, those are my favorite colors. Those are my favorite colors. Very good. How about the part two? Okay, I will be, uh, you will be the woman and I will be the boy. Okay, it's your turn Who? first, woman. Who's that? Boy, where he's wearing a hat and he's carrying some fish. Fish okay. that's Jim. E color our lung again. E that our lung. Yes, it is. Okay, can you pronounce is? Is lunch lunch again? Is is lunch. lunch okay? Can you read woman? Is that our lunch? 
woman is that of lunch. Again, e is that of our lunch. Very good. Okay, let's go to part three. Uh, you will be the uh, I will be the boy and you will be the woman. Okay, I can see Peter. I can look. He's got curly and a uh, curly blonde hair. He taking a boat out of no, the no, woman. Woman, what's he doing? What's he doing? Sorry. Okay, it's okay. He's taking a boat out of the water. Oh, yes. I can see him now. Very good. Ah, uh, let's go to part four. You will be. I will be the boy, and you will be the woman. And uh, no, you will be the woman, and I will be the boy. Okay. Look at okay. Sally. Look where at is, Sally. Where is she? He's standing in the water. Why is she standing? The water's cold, I think. Okay, can you pronounce she? She's. She. She's. Shouting. Shouting. Okay, very good. Okay, let's go to part five. I will. Uh, you will be the woman, and I will be the boy. Okay, you. You are. You are the first. Okay. What? A uh, who's that boy by the river? Which one? He's wearing a yellow sweater and he's washing his hands in the water. Oh, that's Fred. He's my best friend. Okay, can you pronounce washing? Washing. Sweater. Sweater. Again, washing. Washing. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's have another one. Okay, listen and write. There is one example. Okay, I will play an audio. You listen, Kathleen, okay? You have to answer all of this from one to five, okay? Is that clear? Okay, okay so you listen. I will repeat the audio twice only, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Part 2. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. I work here at the cafe. Can I ask you some questions? Yes. Thank you. Now, what's your name? Anne Tracy. Can you spell that, please? T-R-A-C-Y. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. How old are you, Anne? I'm 13. Pardon? Did you say 14? No, I'm 13. Oh, right. Two. Now. Do you come to this cafe every day? No, I don't. I come here at weekends. Only at weekends? Yes, that's right. Three. Another question, Anne. Which is your favourite kind of sandwich? Oh, I don't know. They're all good. Well, do you like our egg sandwiches, for example? Or the chicken ones? Oh, well, they're okay. But cheese is my favourite. Thank you. Look, I'm writing cheese here. Four. 
Now, we want some new things to eat in the cafe. Can you think of something, Anne? Mm, that's difficult. Something you would like to eat? Something we don't have? I know. How about pasta? Did you say pasta? Yes, I love it. Five. Last question. Who did you come here with today? My cousin. Only your cousin? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Anne. Now listen to part two again. One. How old are you, Anne? I'm 13. Pardon? Did you say 14? No, I'm 13. Oh, right. Two. Now, do you come to this cafe every day? No, I don't. I come here at weekends. Only at weekends? Yes, that's right. Three. Another question, Anne. Which is your favourite kind of sandwich? Oh, I don't know. They're all good. Well, do you like our egg sandwiches, for example? Or the chicken ones? Oh, they're OK. But cheese is my favourite. Thank you. Look, I'm writing cheese here. Four. Now, we want some new things to eat in the cafe. Can you think of something, Anne? Mm, that's difficult. Something you would like to eat? Something we don't have? I know. How about pasta? Did you say pasta? Yes, I love it. Five. Last question. Who did you come here with today? My cousin. Only your cousin? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Anne. That is the end of part two. OK, so now I will read the example, uh, the instruction. OK, listen, Kanlin, listen and write. There is one example. So this is the example. The Lake Cafe. So the name is Anne Tracy. So uh, can you answer this one to five? What is the age of that uh, person? Again? Number Again. one. 13. 13, that's it? Yes. Okay. We will go in to answer this first. Then uh, later we will find out if your answer is correct. Okay? Okay. Okay, very good. How about number two? Number two. Comes to cafe at what time? At weekend. Okay, weekend. Okay. How about number three? Favorite sandwich? Um, I don't know. Okay, I will play again. You listen, okay? Okay. Okay. Right. I don't see. Two. Now, yes? do you come to this cafe every day? No, can, I don't. Can you see? I come yes. here at okay. weekends. Only at weekends? Yes, that's right. Three. Another question, Anne. Which is your favourite kind of sandwich? Oh, I don't know. They're all good. Well, do you like our egg sandwiches, for example? Or the chicken ones? Oh, they're OK. But cheese is my favourite. Thank you. Look, I'm writing yeah. cheese here. Uh. 
four. Now, we want some new things to eat in the cafe. Can you think of something, Anne? Mm, that's difficult. Something you would like to eat? Something we don't have. I know. How about pasta? Did you say pasta? Yes, I love it. Five. Last question. Who did you come here with today? My cousin. Only your cousin? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Anne. Okay. So, okay. Did you understand? So now, what is the favorite sandwich? Um. Um. I jam. I don't know. How about would like? What? Who come today with? Came today with what? Mm, my cousin. Okay, so we will find out. You don't have answer in number three and number four. Okay, now, the correct number answer. Three. Number four is pasta. Pasta, okay. So now, we will find out if your answer is correct. The answer in number one is, okay, very good, 13. And number two, okay, very good, weekend, very good. Number three is cheese. Favorite sandwich is cheese. How about number four? Would you like? Okay, very good to eat pasta. And number five came today with cousin. Okay, very good. This is for you. Thank you. Okay, you are welcome. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, now um Kathleen, I will read the instruction. What did Tony do last week? Listen and draw a line from the day to the correct picture. There is one example, okay? So I will okay. play an audio. You will listen again, okay? You have to very attentive in listening, okay? So that you can get the correct answer. Okay, is that clear? Okay. Okay, very good. Part 3. Look at the pictures. What did Tony do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Tony. We didn't see you at the park last week. Where were you? Oh, I had to help my mum and dad. What did you do? Well, on Monday, I went to the market. My mum wanted some fruit. Can you see the line from the word Monday? On Monday, Tony went to the market. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. On Wednesday, I helped my dad on our farm. What did you do? First, we had to put some carrots and potatoes into bags. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Then we gave some food to the animals. Two. What about Thursday? Thursday. Oh, I went to the library. Did you find any good books? Yes. I got three because I read very quickly. And I chose some for my mum. Three. What did you do on Saturday? I wanted to help my dad on the farm again, but it rained all day. So, what did you do? I played with my brother. He's got a toy farm with lots of animals. Four. What about Sunday? I didn't go outside because it rained all day. 
Did you watch television? No. Mum and I read our library books. Mine was about animals. Five. Tuesday was a very good day. Oh no, it was Friday. What did you do? I went to the zoo with my mum, dad and brother. Which was your favourite animal? I like the parrots best. We gave them some fruit. Now listen to part three again. One. On Wednesday, I helped my dad farm. What did you do? First, we had to put some carrots and potatoes into bags. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Then we gave some food to the animals. Two. What about Thursday? Thursday. Oh, I went to the library. Did you find any good books? Yes. I got three because I read very quickly. And I chose some for my mum. Three. What did you do on Saturday? I wanted to help my dad on the farm again, but it rained all day. So, what did you do? I played with my brother. He's got a toy farm with lots of animals. Four. What about Sunday? I didn't go outside because it rained all day. Did you watch television? No. Mum and I read our library books. Mine was about animals. Five. Tuesday was a very good day. Oh no, it was Friday. What did you do? I went to the zoo with my mum, dad and brother. Which was your favourite animal? I like the parrots best. We gave them some fruit. That is the end of part three. Okay. Okay, oh. Kathleen. I will read again the instruction. Yeah. Okay. Listen and... Uh, what did Tony do last week? So listen and draw a line from the day to correct to the correct picture. There is one example. Okay, Tony, what did Tony do uh, Monday, on Monday? So she, uh, he go to a supermarket and buy some fruits. Okay. How about yeah. on Saturday? What did uh, Tony do on Saturday? Play with, play with his brother uh, animal. Okay, very good. He play with her uh, with his brother. How about on Friday? What did uh, uh, he go to the zoo with with uh, his mom and his uh father? Okay, and his brother, right? Brother. Okay, uh, very good. Go to the zoo. Uh, with uh, mom uh, 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 and brother or father. Okay, very good, Kathleen. Okay, how about on Sunday? What did Tony do last Sunday? The uh, Sunday he uh, reading a book. Okay, reading very good. Okay, on Sunday, he reads book with his mother, okay? Yes. Okay, very good. How about on Wednesday? What did Tony do on Wednesday? He uh, go to the farm. And help his father. Father. Again, what did Tony do last Wednesday? He go to the farm with uh, uh, with his uh, father. Uh, father. Okay, very good. How about on Thursday? What did uh, okay. Tony he do on to a Tuesday? Library. Again. He go to the library. 
Okay, very good. On Thursday, Paul uh, went to library, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. So now we will go into read. Uh, okay, so. Okay. So now, part four. Okay, listen. Part four. Listen and check. Again, this is not check. This is check. Wait. Check, right? Check. Yeah. Oh, Listen okay. and check the bus. There is one example. Okay, very good. So I will play again an audio. You will listen again. You have to, uh, to be very attentive so that you can answer the question correctly. Okay, is that clear? Okay, very good. So listen. I don't see sentence four and sentence five. Oh, don't worry. We will go there later, okay? Just take note what the audio said about number four and number five, okay? Number three and number three. Uh, number three and number four, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. So you listen. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. How did John go to his grandparents' house? Hello, John. Did you go to see your grandparents last week? Yes, I went with my mum. Did you go there by bus? No, we went on the train because Dad needed the car. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. What did Jane watch on TV? Did you watch the film about dolphins last night, Jane? No. Did you? No. I saw something about jungles. Oh, did you? I watched a film about a famous clown. 2. What's the matter with Sue? Mum, do I have to get up? I don't feel well. Have you got a headache? No, but my ear hurts. Well, you haven't got a temperature, but don't go to school today. 3. What do they need to wash? Can you help me put the things on the table for the party? OK. Where are the glasses? In the cupboard, next to the cups. What about the bowls for the ice cream? Oh, they're all dirty. We need to wash them. 4. Which boy is Ben's brother? Look at this photo of us in the mountains. Which one is you, Ben? That's me, in the blue sweater. My brother's next to me. Is he wearing a black sweater? No, that's our friend. Look, my brother's got a blue sweater like mine, but he's wearing a hat. Okay, we will go in to answer this first, okay? Listen okay. and check. There is one example. So can you read the instruction, uh, Ken Lin? Yes. Okay. Number one, a letter. No, no, no. Can you read, listen, and check the box? There is one example. Yes. Listen and check the box. There is one example. Okay. Can you read there? There. There. Again, there. There. Is. Is. Example. Example. Okay, can you read? There is one example. There is one example. Again, there. There. Is. Is. Example. Example. Okay, can you read? There is one example. There is one example. Very example. good. 
Okay, very good. So now, how did John go to his grandparents? So that there is one example there. Okay, she ride a train, right? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. How about number one? What did Jane watch on TV? Is it letter A, letter B, or letter C? What is your answer? Letter B. Okay, we yes. will find out later if your answer is correct. Okay. What's the matter with Sue? Is it letter A, letter B, or letter C? Letter A. Okay, this one. Okay. Okay, we will find out if your answer is correct. The answer in number one is letter. Okay, very good. Kathleen, can you read number one? What did? Can you read? What did Jane was watch on TV? Very good. Can you pronounce watch? Watch. Very good. How about number two? What's the matter with Sue? What's the matter with Sue? Okay, the correct answer is letter A. Very good. You've got the correct answer. Okay, so let's go on number three. Okay, so as you can see, I will play the audio. You have to familiarize the picture, okay? Okay. Okay, I will play again the, uh, the audio. What about the bowls for the ice cream? Oh, they're all dirty. We need to wash them. Four. Where is number three? Is Ben's brother. Just listen first the audio before we will proceed to number three, number four, and number five. Okay, I will repeat. Okay? Yes. Okay. Three. What do they need to wash? Can you help me put the things on the table for the party? Okay. Where are the glasses? In the cupboard, next to the cups. What about the bowls for the ice cream? Oh, they're all dirty. We need to wash them. Okay, Nguyen. I can lean. Hi. Hi. Okay, so, okay, we will go into answer number three. What do they need to wash? Is it letter A, letter B, letter C? I don't see. And, oh, I, don't, and I don't listen. Okay, so we will go into answer this. Okay? Okay. Oh, but it's already time. We will just continue this tomorrow, okay? Are you free tomorrow again? Because we will have to finish your lessons. No. You are not free uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow, um, um, uh, again, again. Yes? I have uh, a chat. Again. Are you free tomorrow? Um, yes. Autumn. This week. This week. Mm. No, I know mean at the five PM. Yes, because because I I five PM I mean five PM yeah. I mean. 
Okay, 5 p.m. Are you tomorrow? okay? 5 p.m. Yes. tomorrow? Yes. Okay, try to ask your mom if you are free 5 p.m. tomorrow. We will have okay. class. Okay. Goodbye. So, okay, so we will see you tomorrow 5 p.m., right? Yes, because uh, I, I don't know English at 6 p.m. because uh, I go to the extra class at um, 6.45 p.m. Uh, um, to uh, um, 9, 9 p.m. Okay, so we will have a class tomorrow 5 p.m., okay? Okay. Okay, so bye-bye. See you tomorrow, Kanlin. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, too. Okay, have a good night. It's your dinner now. No, my, uh, my, uh, grandma, my grandmother. Okay, so see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. 5 p.m., okay? Okay, Bye. 5 p.m. Okay. Bye. Okay. okay.